Okay, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Daily Carrington. If you're new, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, love for the love, my G's. So, in this week's vlog, this is a week in my life slash organize my life vlog type vlog, vlog, vlog. So today I'm going to uh, Joseph's sister's event. She's having like a karaoke event today in Blue's Kitchen in East London. I've got a literal whole plan of all the vlogs and stuff that I plan to be doing for the first three months of 2024. Okay. And I don't see any reason why I should not be sticking to that plan, but not too much on that though. <laughs> and I wanted to show you guys my new book that I got, but I swear I put it down and I can't find it. I literally just put it down three seconds ago, so why I can't find it makes no sense to me whatsoever. And I don't do my hair when I go to work, so if my hair looks a bit um, shoddy right now, that's because I don't be doing my hair to go to work. I'll be so real. But 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 i've got this new book and i want to tell you guys all about it well i mean there's not so much i can tell you about this new book because i'm only what 16 pages in i don't know it is but i need to read more to know what it's really really giving because obviously i'm only 16 pages in i can't tell you it's giving like yes and i'm only 16 pages in and you get it's like how would i know what it's really giving if that even makes sense but yeah anyway so it's gonna take i have to leave at 5 20 and I've started getting it ready around like 4.20, so I've got an hour to get ready to sit down on my vlog, to talk to you guys, and like, you know, to take my time and chill out. And I've got a lot of other things coming up on this week. This week's gonna be really hectic for me. So, ugh, a lot of things going on. But I think this vlog won't be that long. I have been doing longer vlogs because I've been getting requested to do longer vlogs, but I think this might be a shorter vlog, just it's getting hot in here. God, blimey. I think this might be a shorter vlog just because I know that on today I'm doing the um, karaoke thing and my little sister was supposed to come but she's at work she's got work until 6 and it starts at 6 so I don't know what's going on with that but anyways um, yeah I've got the karaoke thing today then on Tuesday Raisa and I are going to Deluxe Manor which we've been literally trying to go there for like what like the past like year and a half we're trying to like find a date to go there but i think we're doing that on tuesday then on wednesday and thursday i know that i'm working and on friday i'm getting my hair done but that's going to be a separate vlog so you won't be seeing that in this one i don't know if i'm going to wear makeup today like i'm literally not in the mood yesterday was my mum's birthday and I didn't wear makeup and I have no lashes either. So my face, I was wearing glasses though, but my face was giving very much plain Jane. All I had on was lip liner and lip gloss. And sometimes that's all it bees. That doesn't make any sense, but that's all it bees in the trap. <laughs> lip liner and lip gloss and that's what we call it. Like, Bob's your uncle, do you get it? But yeah, I've been rocking with this leave out for some time now. I, my mum did it for me, I think, on like the third day of this month, or the first, or something, I don't know. And I've been rocking with it for some time. And it's actually been doing me well, a little cheeky side part leave out, because I need a little sign, like, sometimes when you're in between hairstyles, a bun just not going to cut it anymore. Like, sometimes I just don't want a bun. I like, I want a little something. Look how cute that looks right there by my shoulder. By my shoulder? What's this? My ankle? <laughs> Look between my shoulder and my elbow. Look how cute it looks there, little cur curled and little sitting pretty and all, looking all cute. You know? Sometimes a a bun just won't do it. I'm just so excited to vlog. Especially because I announced today I got a car. I don't know why I'm saying announced. I'm not like Molly May or Kim Kardashian like that announced something. But you know, as per my uh vlog that I told you guys I told you guys to go watch. I mentioned that like I didn't know whether I should post my car or not because my first car, Bad Little Vibe, RIP, 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 was unfortunately stolen. 
and so I wasn't sure how I felt but like I was like I was just thinking to myself you know I've got a flipping mark I must can post it and you know like I must can post it and it feels more secure I must can post my new car because one I have a wheel lock on my car and I did have a wheel lock on my um uh, what do you call it on my 500 on my what's it called my polo but i've got a wheel lock and i've got the mercedes app but i won't get too much into that details because i did mention it in my drive with me which you guys will see before you see this so i don't need to like um bore the people who already watched the previous vlog with this same old same old information you know I just need to start posting again. <laughs> Although I haven't posted on my Instagram since December and I've lost 200 followers. And I'm very upset. But I just have not gotten a good Instagram picture. I'm very upset. I've lost 200 followers. That brings me back, to, um, back down to 5k. And I'm sorry. I don't like that for myself. But I've got a lot coming up. So I best go up to like what? Another a cheeky 15. <laughs> so with the new stuff i've got going on like i've got something planned then i've got my birthday and then you've got valentine's and we've got my boyfriend's birthday and all that good stuff so i should have lots of good pictures to post on my instagram because how dare 200 people unfollow me like you're gonna wish you followed me yeah they need rappers like me <laughs> what's a nick Minaj? they need pictures like mine my hair even straight or is it I can't tell if it's straight or if it's just that it's ruining my vision. I told you guys I've not been putting any energy to straighten my hair because I'm just hashtag lazy. Hashtag lazy. I'm a bit peckish though. Just realised that suddenly. Okay, vlog. <laughs> I am back. I have all done with, I'm all done with my hair. I just need to do my uh, my roots and my edges I think I'm gonna um, hot comb my edges I mean my roots sorry just because I want them to actually be straight um, I cut my hair the other day and I should never have done that because now I have this really short piece in front of my hair and it's so annoying I know it exactly why I cut my hair but once I did it I thought yeah I should not have done this I really should not have done this like why did I even think this would be a good idea at the time it was always a good idea but once you always get past the time you get into like the present day it's never a good idea is it never and it's just so inconvenient okay lovely I'm just gonna put some ammo oil on my hands and put it in my hair just so that um, I like when my leave it has a nice shine, like a nice natural press shine to it. So, you know, if you've ever gotten your hair like straightened or like silk pressed or whatever they call it nowadays, when you have that nice natural shine, that's what I love seeing. So, I'm gonna add that extra oil to my hair, and also in my brain, it helps my little flyways to stick down, which probably does to be fair. Okay, hey vlog, I am in my car. I was meant to get back to you guys once I finished getting ready, but my mum and I were talking and it wasn't vlog appropriate. So I'm back now and I'm on my way to the event. I'm currently four minutes late, which is very inconvenient, but I mean it's fine, just four minutes. Four minutes can't hurt. I do have some clips in my hair because I want my leave up to um, stay left in and i want it to look left out like do you know what i mean <laughs> i got some new packages before i left i've been getting packages that literally like every other day literally in and out of um amazon ebay all of them packages been coming literally every other day but i got uh, an e i got three ebay packages and two of them consisted of these little um car smell things and i'll be real i'm not a fan of these things i don't know why i don't like them maybe because joseph usually gets them and he gets like a um 
Joseph gets like a cherry flavor. And honestly, I don't like cherry strawberry flavors for my car. I did the other day buy um, a Jelly Belly, which is strawberry cheesecake. And it is like kind of like vanilla strawberry. And I don't mind that as much because it has like vanilla accents. And for me and my car and my household and my room, the scents I like going on are like coconuts and vanillas. That's the, I think to me, that's like a, that's a good smelling room, good smelling car, you know? But these came and I'm gonna open them. I think I'm gonna put them like underneath the chairs or something. Oh no, I put them on the side of the doors actually. Um, but yeah, I've never, I can't open it. Damn, it's, it's hurt my hand. Okay, it's like a can, but I don't have any nails so I can't grip this. Because I did mention in, in the other vlog that my car was smelling like cigarettes from the previous owner and the guy who dropped my car to me. So I need that cigarette smell to be gone because again, I can't have people come in Stacy and people think I'm a smoker. Sorry, that's just so off brand. Like, that's, that's just so off brand, it's ridiculous. My little brother put the lights on this, um, it's called Red Moon and it changes. But I don't like when you can see the blue shining through the seat because I hate the color blue. And it's very deep blue, but it looks nice like on my screen. And I realized I'm actually very hungry. So I just hope that I can eat. But she did say that we can eat after um, we do the karaoke section and go downstairs and like get food and drinks and whatever. But I won't be drinking because I'm doing dry jam for some of January. <laughs> I say I'm doing dry jam as if I don't, as if I drink much anyways, but I'm doing dry jam. Do you know what's annoying? Let's talk about it. So Chantel told me how loads of roads nowadays in South are all 20s. And obviously I was, as we all know, as I've been saying, I didn't have a car for a hot minute. I get back on the roads now, Old Kent Road, 20. Brown Hill Road, 20. Lucian Way, 20. Big, big roads. Big, big roads of no uh what's those things called humps are all 20s this is ridiculous like do you know how slow 20 really is in the grand scheme of things 20 humble 30 30 even before 30 sometimes felt a bit slow but 20 like i'm going over a speed thing right now i'm going 17. am i even moving am i even moving like what the heck 20 is so rude i need the protesters to start protesting because this doesn't make any sense why is everything 20 miles per hour? Like you can't get anywhere at 20 miles per hour. Where do you think you're going? Because you ain't going nowhere. You're gonna be stationary for at least half an hour because you're not gonna be moving. It's basically, you might as well be stuck. My my sentence is not sentencing, but in my head it makes sense. If you catch my drift, comment and you catch my drift. And if you like the video, like the video. If you like, if you wanna subscribe, subscribe. I hope it actually does smell good because. It smells like, um, it smells like uh, a spiced vanilla cake. Like it doesn't just have just vanilla. Anyways, I'm gonna put that in the side of my passenger seat door. And then I'm gonna put one in my um, behind me door so that they're like opposite sides of the car so they can really get the aromas out and start smelling good. Yeah, this, it's, I can smell it again, but like it doesn't give like, Wow, if I have a room I can smell it straight away. It's not that strong. This is why I don't usually mess with these things So I usually don't mess with them for real, but anyways, I've got 24 minutes to go uh, And luckily that is not in congestion charge because I wasn't paying congestion charge. Let's all be so real I was never paying congestion charge, but luckily uh, It's not so I can drive there and hopefully there is parking. I could have got train But like why would I get a train and I got a car a week ago and it's cold outside? Why would I do that? Why? Like, why would I do that? I would not do that. That's the answer to your question. I would not. Second verse for you hating ass hoes that get mad every time I strike a pose and rip down from my head to my toes. Hood dressed like a weirdo. Okay, I'm here and I'm so happy because it's free parking. Because honestly, I've had this car for a week and I've almost got two tickets. <laughs> oh, I forgot these clips are in my hand. 
I've almost gotten two tickets and I've caught the ticket people twice. I'm like, ah, 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 ah. You think you're slick, but I'm slicker. Ah, ah, ah. Do you get it? The parking that she ended. Oh, wait, it's not. Wait, it's not. It's not. I'm not me doing this whole speech and I just realized it's not free parking yet. Ah! I can't park here until 7 and it's 6. Ah! I've even put my wall lock on my wheel as well. I've really jammed it. Not me thinking I could park here. The par the free parking doesn't start till six till seven. I really thought I, I really really thought I went and found a good space. I even parked so nice. Wow! I really 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 didn't understand the assignment, didn't I? Damn! I'm literally parked basically outside the place as well. Wow! I would have been hit with a ticket, and then I would have realised. Oh, Carrington! It didn't say six. It says seven, and it's not even seven yet. It's six. Too much maths in my head, mate. Too much maths. So now I've got to find somewhere to park. Oh, that rotating no motor vehicles. Can I go down there? This is an inconvenient. So inconvenient. Ah, thumbs up. I really, really, really would have wrapped it right there. I don't think I meant to drive down this road, I'll be honest. Because further down is saying, oh, crap. Yep, I wrapped it. Yep, I wrapped it. I really thought I was on something there, good bug. I was about to come and tell you my my big win. Come hold us till midnight first. Now I've got this big Mercedes and I've got nowhere to put her. And now it's gonna be what 15 past. Crap. Crap. Why is there no parking? That's so anti everything I stand on. <laughs> That's so anti everything I stand on. What the heck? And now my seatbelt's going. Now my seatbelt's going. I really, really thought I won. Okay, I'm back on the same road and I'll just try to find more parking. Is that till seven as well? Till seven's crazy! Do you know how late 7 pm is? Is that mine? You have to keep pressing. Um, yeah, I never used Smash on here. So I don't know. Why do you say it? 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 Why do that's how we ball out. It's kind of quiet though. That's yeah, how we ball out. No, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wash my face blah blah get ready for bed it's like 10 something but i've got work for the next continuing five days so i'm trying to go to bed very very early <sighs> very very early or just now i don't know but yeah that was uh karaoke it was a good time and the food was a good time as well i did have pasta or macaroni and cheese with my dinner and i told you guys when you see that macaroni and cheese on my plate mind your own business because sorry i can you resist but anyways i posted in my vlog about my car i've been getting good feedback <laughs> people were nervous people were congratulating me and stuff and i was like oh i i, I was like oh wow thanks and like, i wasn't expecting like, that congratulations but i thought I'm like okay thank you and i love my head's itching me wow and another thing is people and um, my friend cara was like oh congratulations on a new car and then she said something, she said like a song lyric or a, a, a song title, I was like, oh my days, how can I not play the song? Insert the song over now. 
That's my dancing to the song. I posted that vlog, and people are liking it so far. One girl says she prefers the black seats. I'm like, me too. I'm actually gonna change my seat colors because red sheets. Mm mm. But guys, before, be sure to follow. Uh, wrong females to ever sleep on events because she'll be having more and they're like for women empowerment and you know just good events for girls to uplift them and provide them with a safe space but they can have people like them you know always good for people to do things like that in the community and to have somewhere where they can go to to be to feel seen and to feel heard, you know? No, I'm just like one of those girls that they have to pretend, you know? If you have to ask me before we go out, okay, I'm not going to. Mm -mm. Yeah, no, you shouldn't have to. And Why if it's my friend's birthday, I want to say, don't come with me. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> not, by, it's not by force we pull up as a couple. Yep. It's actually not by force. The people who I really thought would be there for me throughout this time haven't been there. Some of my buys mates have dropped out with reason being money, despite me giving over a year's notice for everything. I mm -mm. do feel like things have been handled very badly for those. <laughs> Guys, I. <laughs> Hi vlog. I haven't spoken to you guys my whole journey because I've been very annoyed, ticked off, irritated, grr. So I thought, let me listen to the new receipts podcast. And honestly, the receipts girlies, Tolly and Audrey, my women, they've made my journey oh so better. But that dilemma, sorry. If you are my bridesmaid and you drop out, I'm cutting you off for life. I hope you know that. <laughs> For money? No. Uh, do you know what? Do you know what? That's a good question. If your bridesmaid can't afford your wedding because of money, are you cutting them off? And I hate to say it, yes, I will. Because you should have had your bread up. <laughs> no, but no. Okay, all jokes aside. If my bridesmaid comes to me and says, Oh, Carrington, unfortunately I've got to drop out of being a bridesmaid due to money, I think I would... What the heck? There are people on the side of the motorway. What's this? What is behavior? Why are they walking into the woods? Can you guys see that? What the heck? What is going on here? What is this behavior? How did it get up there? I hope you guys can see that because I just flipped my camera about like whatever. Oh, shame. There's a broken down car literally just below. I mean, after. Anyways, back to the dilemma. If my friend came to me and said, Carrington, I can't afford the wedding. I'm dropping out being a bridesmaid. Personally, I would offer, I'd be like, don't worry, darling, I've got you covered. I really want you to be part of my wedding. If I offer that and you say no, I'm cutting you off. Because that reminds me, I had a situation. <laughs> LOL, not me spilling the juice. I had a friend in 2019, no, 2020, right? And I wanted to, so we had a group chat, okay? And there was, I think, why am I in this lane? This lane's not moving, that's the question. We had a group chat, right? And in the group chat, there was at least five of us, okay? Cool. So there was five of us in the group, no, there was six of us in the group chat. And so we had decided that we wanted to go on holiday because lockdown had just ended and they were kind of letting people go on holiday again. So we said Portugal. Cool. We put in the group chat, oh, we're trying to go to Portugal, who's down? And like, we all said it and then it was all like an idea. It was meant to go to like Chesington. And then we realized that the flight to Portugal and the hotel was like basically cheaper than going to like a local place. Cool. So we had decided who it was, duh. And one girl was like, oh, I can't come because I can't afford it. And we was like, oh, like, we'll pay for you. We all said we'll chip in and pay for this one girl to come. She said no. Two twos now, long story short, in this 2024, January 23rd, we're not friends anymore. But imagine, <laughs> now I'm spinning the juice, I'm being messy. She went around telling people how we booked the holiday without her knowledge, but we was like, but she invited you to come on holiday. The moral of the story is, <laughs> if you're my bride and can't afford the dress, I would offer to pay, because I want you to be my bridesmaid for a reason, of course. We were friends, we wanted to come holiday for a reason. We had a group chat for a reason. If you then decline, for a wedding, I wouldn't be your friend anymore. As a friend for like a holiday, I would. But for a wedding, when I'm getting married to my nice clean husband and you decline for me paying for your dress, clearly you hate me. A holiday is different, a holiday is different. I can, I can get behind that affairs. But for a wedding and you're declining for me to wear the dress that I want you to wear for my day, 
different. But this is why I say when I get married, I've got to have money. Because when I get married, it's all going to be P. It's all going to be P. Like, do you get Bridesmaids, everything nice, everything covered. That's in my ideal world. I'll be rich when I get married. Rich, wedding, nice, everything clean. But yeah. Anyways, let me continue to my podcast because I really haven't spoken to this vlog since like, what, three days ago. And I'm back talking, 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 talking about tea that I didn't need to spill, but I'm feeling the need to spill because of this same dilemma here. Anyways, the bridesmaids I have left pick at the littlest of things, i.e. not wanting to have bridal party outings, complaining about who they found out with who. Not wanting to have a bridal party outings, you don't hate her. Whoever is dilemma, I hope she's having a good day because I will cut all of you hoes. I will cut all of y'all, I'll cut all of y'all hoes off. None of you my bridesmaid, no. Uh, no, no, not wanting to go to um, outings. That's wickedness. Anyways, let's continue. I'm sorry, but that's pure wickedness. Not want to go on outings and then dropping out. Bro, I'm never chatting to you again and I wish, I don't wish you well. <laughs> I do not wish you well and I'm never chatting to you again. What? You're nuts. Like, absolutely nuts. That's madness. I used to always say before, right, when I thought I went with you, when I thought I went with I'd be like, I'm going to pay for everything. Mm. I really went to get married in this situation mm. to pay for everything mm. for all of my wise ladies, but now I decided I don't want any. Yeah, I think oh. it is nice if you can. But it's no, just, it's not realistic. It's yeah, not, it's, 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 yeah six exactly. Especially so if you have a lot of bicycles. I had six, and I didn't. I just wanted to pay for the stuff. Sorry, girls, but just, <laughs> just did. Do you know what I mean? I just didn't have it like that then. Did I pay for anything? No, I didn't. Get did you ever get them a young little a earring or bracelet? Did I get them? Anything? Yeah. No, I still oh. owe them something. Oh, doing most I know it was so bad. Earring, do you know what? Like, my wedding, I was so broke. Like towards like, yeah, I was broke. Like we were broke by our wedding. Like that's why I always I wouldn't have a good wedding again. Like I just wouldn't. But yeah, I should have, and you know, I may still, you know, <laughs> okay, that, five, five years that later, ship that ship was long <laughs> But I, yeah, I didn't, and you should, you should definitely factor that in and get them rejuvenated for his boys. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just. It's so I didn't even get some matching pajama pictures because of my hair. I didn't buy the pictures, so for me, it was all just very, yeah. No. How often do you watch your wedding video? I never watch. I hate it. So I, I, don't, I think I romanticize life too much. You know, I, I have this view in my life that like every couple of months, I would just sit there watching me, like me and my husband's wedding video, mm -hmm. or when I'm pissed off with him and I want to feel it in like. It, 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 of love to, again. Yeah, yeah. I'll go like watch it and I'll be like, oh, I see why I saw it in him. No, I don't no? watch it. Because I because with me, obviously, on your wedding day you want to look and feel your best. I didn't look and feel my best when I was beautiful. in there. I hated it. I love my makeup. Love my makeup, but I hated my hair. And for me, I just couldn't watch it. I just can't watch it. I mean, not to say that I haven't watched it, but it's not a regular thing. I couldn't tell you the last time I watched it. It was probably like two years ago, some shit. But um the video itself is good, but also be one another tip for your wedding videos, pick classic songs. Yes. Because I didn't pick classic songs. I had, I, I, had, no. <laughs> I wish I've got Joanna. <laughs> <laughs> Not Joanna. Joanna. That's the worst. And shout out, I love that song for the no, time for the time it was played, but if it's I hate Joanna, what the but bro. It's no one way, of the, your and, No, it's got like Joanna and it transitions to, it's like it goes from Joanna to, and it transitions to, put your arms all around me, take your hand and you me. Okay, my podcast is over. I've got 10 minutes till I get to write you some. And I am kind of annoyed because, so I bought all those new air fresheners and crap for my car. And I put like the plug-in ones that you guys saw me buy in my drive with me. I put them in and one of them keeps falling out and it's so annoying. But I feel like the cigarette smell is back. And it's annoying because I've literally got three more air fresheners in my room and I did bring them with me because I thought, okay, finally we're getting to like a happy place. But no, happy place is ruined. It is ruined. And I have to go and buy, I have to go, next time I come to my car, I have to bring the air fresheners with me because why can I smell cigarette stench again? That really ticked me off when I got in the car and I thought, what the heck is this? Second of all, um, I, I'm meeting Raisa. I just said her name a minute ago. We're going to the Deluxe Manor. Raisa and I have a meet to go to this Deluxe Manor place for like, what, two years now? And we haven't made it, but we're finally making it today because I'm going to be very, very busy in the coming weeks. So today is our time to shine. And I'm so annoyed because I couldn't find the leggings that I wanted to wear. No, initially I wanted to wear jeans, but I didn't get my jeans tailored and they don't fit me right you know second of all i couldn't find my leggings that i wanted to wear because i've been doing my laundry but i couldn't find the leggings or oh, um bless her she did it for me because i've been so busy and so i had to wear these other leggings and they kind of see through so 
I'm just hoping that it's very dark inside so nobody can see my underwear because that's so embarrassing. I do need to text Rice and tell her that I'm almost on my way though because I'm literally like 10 away and I want her to be ready and I'm late and I'm ah I'm late. Rice lives an hour and 15 minutes away from me and I was meant to leave at 5.58 and I couldn't leave until 6.05 because um, I had to find these leggings and then I had to finish my hair and I had work today so why are you flashing me? I'm, I, it, it's, it's, it's a 70, I'm doing 69. Where am I from me? So I'm so irritated guys. <laughs> Don't flash me because I'll actually slow down. I'll go to 59. You're rude and you're right. My voice is going. I don't know why my voice is going because I like, or maybe my voice is just dry. That's what it is. I think I need a drink. And I'm hungry, so I hope that Verizon says the food eats down. So I know the food's gonna be good, but like, I hate when you're kind of hungry and you go to a restaurant and you have to wait for the food to come. And it's like, I don't wanna wait. Like, why can't I just say I want apples and you guys bring the apples right away? Do you get Like, why have I gotta wait 15 minutes? I'm gonna like that. And it's also kind of raining a bit. Anyways, hey Siri. Text Raisa. What do you want to say to Raisa? Tell Raisa I am five minutes away. Sorry I am late. X, X, kiss, kiss. It says, I am five minutes away. Sorry I am late. X, X, kiss, kiss. Send it. Yes. Send it. Done. Thank you. Me and Siri go together real bad, real bad. No, I was really irritated and annoyed that before I even got, before I even begun to get ready, I, I feel like I'm so stressed right now, guys. I can't even tell you why I'm so stressed, but I was like, Ryan used to call me and she was so excited, bless her, and I was like, hi. She was like, excited, I was like, not really. I was like, I'm stressed. And I don't even have my phone charged in my car, which is so annoying. I haven't gone and got my charge from Shakai. And like, I've got wireless charging in the car, but it's so slow. And then like, my map's like down here rather than on my screen, so everything just irritates me. My contacts are blurry. I couldn't find my leggings. Work was long. And I got, oh, I'm coming off. And I got a bit of a tummy ache. Like, a lot was going on, like, she get it. So I, I couldn't even, like, be excited. But I know it's gonna be a good time. I'm gonna get a banging Instagram picture. I haven't posted Instagram. I've lost 200 followers on Instagram, yeah? And all you 200 people are following me on Instagram, I flippin' hate you. Don't follow me back. How about that? Very bad vloggers also continue to. Oh, hey, hey, vlog! So, um, I'm telling the vlogs yeah. that every time, like, I do a vlog for me, I'm always like, oh, oh, this is Karen. I didn't even say this is Karen, so I'm like, you know who it is, but she hasn't been in my vlog for, like, what, 10 years? Do you know, I'm a decade. A literal decade. Um, yeah, so I haven't seen Miss Girl in a very long time, and I'm so excited because we're doing our favorite activity together. Eating! Eat <laughs> we're going to get some food. As the influencers we are, we invited down to go try some, well try some food, this is actually my favorite restaurant ever. And it's Carrington's first time having Congolese food. So. Yes. Yeah. Actually, no it's not. Well, yes it is. Because, remember Bianca's friend got married and her, oh, she was yeah, making yeah. her husband's Congolese. But we only had, um, Congolese? only had like skewers. Oh yeah. And like, you know, they're handing around like extra food tools. And like, this is where I literally hit my car on the curb. Oh, it was here. It was a Oh, I thought you were gonna say this is where you hit the motorcyclist. Oh no! Oh, did we pass it? I'll show you when we come back. <laughs> oh <laughs> no, no, they think I'm joking, but I'm being dead serious. No, it was here. This is where I hit the motorcyclist. Raisa, long time no see. How are you? My voice is very dry. I need a beverage, but I like it. Really, you like it. it's quite raspy. Yeah, I like raspy voice. <laughs> it sounds really nice. I'm happy because this whole month of January, I've stuck to everything that I said I was gonna do. Okay, so, lovely. All my to-do list. Hi, Chris. I'm with Carrington now. Hello. In her pink car. Look. Well, you're both vlogging at the same time. Yeah. yeah. What the heck? Of course. You could be there in like five, ten minutes. Then. It says. It says the EAT 752, but you know. ETA. ETA? What do I say? EAT. Oh. Oh, the EAT, the EAT. <laughs> I'm trying to eat. I'm trying to eat! <laughs> Did it take us five headings to get here? Yeah. So that we... Oh my gosh, this looks so clear. What color is this? <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's literally gonna bring us everything on the menu. 
is gonna go because I'm gonna drop her home I'm gonna get petrol so I'm gonna come back tomorrow I think if not um thank you for watching my vlog I love you all oh wait so do you much. have the same car uh yes we do but he's got a three door and who's calling oh. but bye guys bye. like subscribe and comment